What's good, YouTube? This video is going to be about the top three reasons a guy that doesn't want a relationship or already has a girlfriend won't leave you alone. Too many women I speak to are sticking around way too long after a guy reveals that he has nothing to offer them. They often write me asking why after he said he doesn't want anything serious or that he already has a girlfriend that he continues to pursue them. Number one, guys linger after that type of disappointment because they still want the benefits of being with you, whatever that entails. So whether you're having sex with a guy or buying a guy things or giving him money or doing something else that he can find some use for you for, he still wants that benefit. So no, he's not going to leave you alone if he knows you're vulnerable to him and that you're going to keep on doing things for him. Some people are users and they will not get rid of a resource to save their lives. Women who won't create distance make it very easy for guys to use them. So these guys see you as a resource and they want to keep you as a resource, whether that be financially or sexually or energetically or just a form of entertainment. They will keep you around as long as you allow it. You might be someone they call when they're bored or their girlfriend isn't available. You are a pastime for them. That's why they keep you around. Moving on, the second reason why a guy who says he doesn't want a girlfriend or already has a girlfriend might still continue to pursue you is they linger because they think and or know that you'll settle for the consolation prize of getting whatever's left of them after they whore around or go back to their girlfriends. So many times these guys spike a woman's interest, spend time with her, pretend to get to know her, get her interest levels up really, really high only to reveal that they're married or they have a girlfriend or that they really don't want anything serious. But then they continue to pursue that same woman as if they never reveal that they have nothing left to offer her. Most men understand that when a woman wants you, she can want you so badly that she'll take whatever she can get from you. She'll take the consolation prize of being your bed warmer or being a woman who does you favors or being a woman who's there when you need somebody to talk to or being a woman who entertains you when you're bored simply because she wants more and she's waiting for an opportunity to increase the closeness. Most of the time that never happens for her. Some women seem to think that number two or three is better than number zero. So they stick around as long as it takes for a guy to start seeing them as a main squeeze. It doesn't happen a lot though. Most of the time, if a guy's been dealing with you for six, seven, eight, or nine months, and he's talking about he wants to take it slow, but he's having sex with you, and he's doing everything else a man might do, if he was your man, he's not going to change things around now. He's not going to continue to build with you. He's built what he's going to build with you, and that's why he's still having sex with you and still using you as a benefit, but he's not giving you anything more. He's not confused about what he wants. He knows he wants what he has and nothing more. Moving on, the third reason why guys stick around and continue to pursue you after disappointing you is they know that most women will stick around and continue to give of herself because she thinks that he will change his mind. Ladies, never do that. If a guy says he doesn't want a relationship or he has a girlfriend or a wife, move on completely. Never stick around hoping things change or hoping he changes his mind. And if he does change his mind, trust me, you'll be the first one to know. Don't wait it out though. Don't wait till a guy figures out that you're a valuable woman and you can add something to his life because it, again, it normally doesn't happen. Stop being number two. Stop putting your life on hold and stop continuing to let a man benefit from your presence and from your energy and from your resources and from your sex without offering what you need to have emotional stability. You could be missing out on the guy of your dreams. You could be on a date with him right now, but instead you're somewhere waiting for a lesser man's booty call. A lot of women I talk to are afraid that if he does change his mind and she's moved on, she'll lose her chance with him. Trust me, again, that doesn't happen. A guy knows when he's rejected you and when you should be moving on from him. So he doesn't feel entitled to you as you would hope he does. Stop being afraid to piss a man off by moving on. If he wasn't afraid of losing you and he wasn't afraid of hurting you, then you should give him the same consideration he gave you. Don't be afraid to piss him off. But keep in mind, it's not about pissing him off. It's really about being your best self and moving forward and living your best life. Never put your life on hold for someone who won't even slow down for you. Let me tell you a secret, ladies. A lot of guys know this, but some women are clearly not in the loop. Men get the most ass after disappointing a woman. Yes, I said that right. Men on average get the most ass after 
disappointing a woman with bad news such as I'm not looking for a relationship or I have a wife or a girlfriend. After rejecting a woman, after making her question herself, she goes out of her way to feel close and gives him what he wants so she can stick around. Most women who get used for money or sex or other resources do so after a guy quote unquote keeps it real about not wanting more. Keeping it fake real is the easiest way to get into a woman's draws because most women place way too much value on the perceived honesty that they're being offered. That perceived honesty is strategic. He's not telling you so that you can stop dealing with him. He's telling you so that you can move forward without any standards or expectations for his conduct. He's not respecting you by telling on himself. He's seeing if you respect yourself. If a guy continues to pursue you after revealing that he doesn't want a relationship or that he's already involved, completely cut him off. That's if you want a relationship or if you want more. If you choose not to cut him off, there's a 100% chance that you will get used. He has a purpose for you, but it's not wifey. Him wanting you will feel very great in the beginning, but you will feel very stupid in the end, having wasted your time, energy, and attention on an undeserving person. Do yourself a favor, ladies. Learn to walk away. And that's it. I think I've said enough. So with that said, many of you have been asking about ongoing coaching. That service is offered through Patreon if you want continued support and monthly phone calls with me. Those spots are very limited, so check it out if you're interested. I will leave the link below for those of you who've been asking. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Follow me on Instagram at kevhick24. I'll get with y'all later.